airlines are happy about the plunging oil price. It reduces their fuel costs. And freight companies are too. They can now transport goods cheaper across the oceans. Chemical and pharmaceutical companies are also seeing their production costs fall as the oil price slips. Two years ago, a barrel of North Sea Brent crude cost $120. Since then, the price has fallen by one third. And global oil production continues apace, even though demand is not keeping up because economic growth has slowed in Europe and China. Meanwhile, U.S. production is rising. The country is fracking a lot of shale oil. But experts say another factor is responsible for the most recent drop in oil prices, speculation. Speculators are market participants who bet on certain price movements. At the moment they expect the demand for oil to further decrease, while the oil supply is extremely high. And that's what's mainly driving the current drop in prices. And OPEC members haven't reduced how much they're drilling. Saudi Arabia even plans to increase production. Analysts believe some OPEC nations are driving down prices in a bid to make U.S. fracking unprofitable. And Saudi Arabia is a vital player on the market. It's still the world's biggest oil producer. Russia comes in second place, with the U.S. in third, followed by China and Canada. Low oil prices are already causing problems for some countries, especially for those whose economies largely depend on oil production. One example is Venezuela. It needs an oil price of $120 to stay solvent. Nigeria needs oil to sell at $117 or it faces bankruptcy, while Libya gets by if the price is over $110. In Russia, less than $100 a barrel spells trouble. And oil supplies are growing, but demand is falling. That's because cars are becoming more fuel efficient. And renewable energy supplies are grabbing a greater and greater share of the energy market.